Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to find the link for the trial for Music Online Classical Scores, as well as how to use the database Music Online Classical Scores. So if we go to the Ray Howard Library website, which you can get to by typing in the URL library.shoreline.edu, or by going to Google and typing in Shoreline CC Library, once you get to the Ray Howard Library home uh, webpage, if you go to Research, which is located under the OneSearch search box here, and then click on Databases, and scroll down and look under Databases by Subject, you'll see an option for Trials. So go ahead and select Trials. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the link for Music Online Classical Scores Library. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Say you're not a robot. Continue. And then you'll see a little bit more information about the trial. There's 21 days remaining, at least um, when this video is made. And I'm going to go ahead and select the Music Online Classical Scores Library trial link. So now that I'm here, there's quite a lot of different options to search for scores using this resource. So um, if you look at the left hand side, you'll see there's options for browsing. So you can browse by title, genre, instrument, people, publishers, time periods, composers. Uh, you can see more information about time periods as well. So if you wanted to look at the classical time period, medieval, 20th century, 21st century, etc., you can also browse by composer and also do a search for a particular score in the search box. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Art of the Fugue to see what results we get. And we get quite a number of results. So in this case, um, instead of looking through all of these right now, I'm going to go ahead and select the first result just to see what that looks like. And now I should be able to see the entire score. Yes, it looks like I can see all 184 pages of this score. And at the top, you can see that there's options for citing this score, emailing the score to yourself, sharing a link to the score, a direct link, creating a playlist, and also an embed link. You can also select the item, and that will uh, create a list for you that you can email to yourself or to someone else. And I can show you what that is in just a second. But just to kind of look at this particular resource, I'm going to go ahead and select full screen. We now see a couple of different pages here. We also have the option to annotate. Um, you would have to create an account in order to annotate scores. You can look at the thumbnail to see information. So at this, in this point, we can see at least one of the pages here for the scores. And if we go back to the main list here, if we go back to our search results for Art of the Fugue, if you look at the left hand side here, there are more ways to refine your search. So for example, if you wanted to look for a particular composition, for a particular music key, for a score type, if you wanted to look for maybe just vocal score or the full score, instrument played, if you wanted to look for a particular instrument. So there are different ways that you can narrow down your results once you do a, an actual search. So let's go back to the main search page for Music Online. So in this case, I want to go ahead and search by instrument. So I'm just going to do a quick browse and I want to look for cello. So I'm going to go to cello here. Looks like there's quite a number of results for cello. And I just want cello, not Baroque cello. So now I can see a large number of scores available for cello. I'm going to go ahead and select this ad adagio and allegro. And now you can see a similar setup to what we saw before with Art of the Fugue. 
And if you select this item, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that does. So if you go to the top menu, kind of right above the preview box, there's the citation feature, email, share, playlist, embed, and select. I'm going to go ahead and select this item. And then what that does is it creates a list that you can go to by clicking on view list in the upper right. And now I can see two different things that I've selected from the search results. And what you can do from here is you can actually email yourself this list. You can print this list, including citations. You can also export it to uh, any citation tools you might use. And you can also create a playlist. And it looks like the playlist feature is something that you'd have to sign in to use. That's something that um, if you wanted to create an account with Alexander Street Press in order to access some of their features for the trial, you can actually create an account um, and it, it's a free account for this particular trial. So those are a couple of different ways to use this database to find scores. If you have any questions about using this database or about the trial, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I'll give you my email right here. And I appreciate you, I appreciate any feedback that you might provide on this trial. It will help us create um, a plan for getting some databases to um, add into the library's collection. We may or may not have the funds to purchase this trial at, at this time, but this is something that if, if faculty, instructor, instructors, students, staff were really interested in, we could actually get, uh, potentially get this database in the future.